Underground fans, welcome to the next chapter. The next series is Fastest Rising Promotion in Pittsburgh. My name is Jim Lamont. And we are ready to wrap up Area 1 of the Fight Underground. At this time, I'm joined by one loss prevention, Johnny Norris. And arguably the number one draft pick himself, the Rev Ron Hunt. Loss prevention, I'm going to go to you first. The last time we saw you... In a fight underground ring, you disposed of Tad Jarvis rather quickly. What was it that motivated you to put on such a dynamic performance in your fight underground debut? Well, Lamata, to be honest, I'm here to prove a point. I'm not here to be the Alpha King. I'm not here to talk like the Rev does. I'm here to beat people up. That's what I'm good at doing, and that's what I'm here to do. Well said, and, and uh, Rev, before we get to how you're going to deal with this big man... We're going to go to your Fight Underground debut. In fact, not only the first win, but the first match in the history of this new chapter of Pittsburgh Professional Wrestling. You bested one A.J. Alexander. Yeah, well, thank you for this time, Jim. Um, you know, like I say, stated before then, and I still state it now, that was not a walk in the park. I feel like anyone that's on the Fight Underground roster has deserved their spot, has earned it. There's no weak links here at Fight Underground. Uh, so when it comes to not only, you know, getting that win, but getting the first win within all of the company's history, you can't erase history. And uh, from now on, I said it right the day after the match, and I'll continue to say it now. My goal is to continue to make history here at Fight Underground. No matter who they put in front of me, my mindset is still in a narrow mission. I still have tunnel vision, and I'm trying to capitalize on each and every moment that's thrown my way. Well said. And speaking of... Uh... Fight Underground, the opportunities it provides. I'm going to go back to loss prevention here, and I'm going to ask you. You say you're here to beat people up, but how will you use this platform through our social media views and everything that goes along with it? How will you put the wrestling world on notice for just who Johnny Norris is? I'll tell you exactly how I'm going to do that. I'm going to do it tomorrow. I'm going to do it in the ring against the Rev when I shut his mouth for good. Hey, I already beat half of the Jesus Club when I beat AJ, just like you did. And now I'm going to finish the job tomorrow. Well, we do have a, There is a common opponent here, of course. But Rev, as I've said, you are considered by many the number one prospect in Fight Underground. A member of Shane Taylor Promotions. Shout out to Shane Taylor. You are a man that has, that has been associated with greatness. You're the associate of Shane Taylor Promotions. How do you step out front? And become the main attraction here in Fight Underground. I think when when you look at you know when you look back at it, you, you mentioned Shane Taylor promotion, I'm the vice president, chief of operations. There, that is more in the mindset of what I do behind the scenes. But at the same time, the mentality of that stays the same. I might not be in the ring competing as much, but the mindset to win, to surround myself with winners, to be a part of that winning is is a part of that mindset. Twenty four seven, three sixty five. You know, you don't just put this jacket on. This is what I bleed. And when it comes to getting in the ring, that's just the physical side of things of what's already going on in my mind. So, you know, what Johnny is saying and other people are saying that they feel like it's a fluke where the rev is, time will tell. I know with me, my main mission is to see where that goes next. I plan on staying on top, no matter who they throw in front of me. We got a guy right here that is that, that, that I, I feel there's a lot of potential in. But at the end of the day, I feel like I have that advantage. I feel like I have that advantage on a lot of people because my mind does not turn off. In adversity, my mind still goes. Win, lose, or draw, my mind still goes. Right now, I'm on the winning side, and I plan on staying on the winning side. Certainly a winning mentality from the Rev Ron Hunt. Last question for Johnny Norris. How will you employ a winning strategy against this man right here? First off, I want to respond to what he just said. I don't think it's a fluke that you're on top. It's clear, plain as day. You're the best in Fight Underground. There's no question about that. I have all the respect in the world for you. But with that said, I'm not going to be walking on eggshells in that ring. I'm going to try to take your head off. That's exactly what I'm going to try to do. Now, to get back to what you just asked, my theory is real simple. I'm going to keep him on the mat, keep him from getting up because he's faster, he's, 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 he's tough as nails, and you know what? I'm going to drop him. Plain and simple, Rev. How do you respond? What is your strategy going into the... This matchup with this man right here. I Real mean, hitters move in silence, Jim. Real hitters move in silence. Every time we talk about this, people want to talk about strategy. Here's the thing. Sometimes people talk too much. You know, just like you do your homework. You you do these investigations. You look after people. You do your research. You, you, you see what you can find out that other people don't know about a person. I'm the same way. 
in a way, we're kind of similar. But here's one thing that you mess up at. You say that you plan on keeping me on the ground. Do you want to knock me out? You better hope you swing for the fences and you knock a home run on that first swing. Because if you don't drop me dead, I promise you, it's going to be something you're going to regret for a long, long time. And that out-of-body experience, you're not going to recover from. I tell you that, and I promise you that, Johnny. I don't doubt that for a second. I really don't. But if you think it's just going to be one swing, you're absolutely wrong. It's going to be swing after swing after swing after swing. If I swing 100 times and I land half the time, you're not getting back up. All right, things are boiling over here. <laughs> Keep it calm, gentlemen. You will be in the ring. Fight Underground fans, you're going to see the Rev, Ron Hunt, and Johnny Norris coming up got. here on our social media tomorrow. platforms. Make sure to check it out. Don't miss it. Wasp Prevention, Rev, Ron Hunt, coming up here. Fight Underground. We ain't got to wait till tomorrow. I want no little blows, no hooks, Let's go, bro. over the years, no eye gouging, okay? Fists up, throw down. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the underground. My name is Jim Romano, being joined by Pittsburgh legend Paul Atlas. And Paul, what a way to start back here at the underground. We have lost prevention. The big man, Johnny Norris, taking on arguably the number one draft pick in the Rev Ron Hunt. That's right. We are here to, talk, to determine the finals from area one. These are the winners. We're going to narrow it down to one. Absolutely, we saw the Rev victorious in the first ever Fight Underground matchup, defeating AJ Alexander, and Tad Jarvis was the unfortunate soul that felt the wrath of loss prevention. That's right, so far Rev has been first match, first win, and first round draft pick of the council in our teams. But I gotta tell you, loss prevention is an entirely different equation for the Rev, as you're seeing the power of Johnny Norris on display here muscling Rev back in the corner. Oh, that's right. Stacy Hunter has touted this man's size and strength for weeks at our council meetings. And we are going to see that on display tonight. Both men are tall, but uh, Johnny Norris' loss prevention definitely has it in the muscle uh, division. He definitely has the advantage. And Rev may have the technical advantage. We're seeing right here the go behind into the side headwalk. A good way to try to neutralize that size of loss prevention. Oh, without a doubt. Look at those smooth transitions by the Rev. He definitely knows his mat wrestling. It may be a matter of blunt force trauma to get Johnny Norris out of this uh, predicament. Swing and a miss. Rev avoids the contact. Two feet firmly in the chest. Stagger loss prevention. Yeah, well, Rev also has the experience advantage in this match with Johnny Norris very young to this business. He's going to have to rely on power while the Rev relies on skill. Avoided the contact. Rev got hung up. Could be a critical point in this contest here. Yeah, he caught him right across the neck on that top rope, and that's not just, uh, uh, that's steel encased in plastic. That'll rip your throat out. Loss prevention can press the advantage here, and that may be the X factor for Johnny Norris, so agile. Uh, way too early in the match. The Rev has way too much steam kicking out at one. But that was uh, loss prevention showing wisdom beyond his years. He immediately transitioned to the front chantry after Rev escaped. He's allowing no surcease, no breathing room for the rep. And that's literal because, you know, after getting hung up on that rope, I'm sure the Rev has lost a lot of his wind. Work on that windpipe, work on that breathing, and you can keep the man down. If you can't breathe, you can't fight. Rev struggling, trying to make his way back up to the vertical base here, trying to extricate himself from the grasp of loss prevention. Johnny Norris just trying to overpower the Rev here. And it may be a matter of sheer determination for the Rev. The Rev wants to live up to the hype, live up to the potential, and that be, that could be his motivation here. Oh, he has to. He's got to prove each and every week that he is the number one person we talk about each and every week on the fight, fight council. I know Bubba has been singing his praises for months and months, the Rev Ron Hunt, but he's got to prove it here at Fight Underground. Paul, I would be remiss. I just noticed Justin Idol 
is among our fighters around ringside here. Oh well, yeah, you know, Justin, he has a, a semifinal match as well to determine Area 1 champion as he'll be going up against Bro Hemoth in the upcoming weeks. It's a smart move on Justin's part to be here tonight for this match. Scouting and, the competition, exactly, absolutely. Exactly. You know, Paul, the Rev, we know he's an associate of Shane Taylor Promotions. And I, when we talked to Rev uh, in the face-off, one of the things I asked him was how will he go from an associate to a frontline star? And the Rev was very adamant that he plans to use Flight Underground as the platform to prove himself to be that front and center star. Oh, without a doubt, Shane Taylor. You know, big time, big name in ROH. The Rev, kind of like his sidekick, if you will. This is the Rev's chance to step out of the shadows because, you know, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Fight Underground is the next big thing in indie wrestling. What a kick! Beautiful right into that neck breaker. Breaker. He's got to have it here. And loss prevention got out at one. The Rev looking a little stunned, but we know that he is going to continue to press the advantage here. I believe loss prevention... May They've had his nose busted there. Somebody does. You can see a little bit of blood on the shoulder there at loss prevention. One of these men is definitely bleeding. And I, yeah, you're right. It looks like it is loss prevention. Rev may have broken that nose, and uh, loss prevention may be looking to break the rib. Belly to belly. Magnum TA style out of the corner. And Let's again, go. going back to movements which drive the air out of the rev, which goes back to that mishap when the rev hung himself on that top rope. Absolutely, again, I believe Johnny Norris showing he's not just all physical tools, he has that mental acumen as well. Uh, this kid has definitely shown a lot in the matches that he has. He, you know, 2-0 and here in Fight Underground. Uh, you know, sometimes we stated that those, those wins may not have been uh, high quality, but they're wins nonetheless. And look at how Norris grapevining the body, cinching in the body lock to continue to squeeze and compress the rib cage of the rev. Again, working on that breathing. And the rev may be going to sleep, Paul. Yeah, this could be it. You know, he's sapping the oxygen to that brain. It's only a matter of time before he's out. And the rev getting a little desperate, trying to wrench on the digits of loss prevention. He's got to get himself out of this, or he's not going to advance, that's for sure. Desperation maneuver from the rev, using his own head as a battery ram there. And I believe all that's... Oh, wait a minute, Johnny Norris just buckled on that knee. I think he just, he did something to that knee. He stepped wrong or something. Yeah, he planted his foot, and I believe his, his knee may have given out. Sean Patrick checking on uh, loss prevention, and, and I'm not sure if Rev even saw it. I, I'm not sure if he realizes it. I'm not sure if he saw it at all, yeah. But something definitely happened there. Wait, that's three, Paul, that's it! There, There's That injury, that spelled the end of it. The three count. And the winner is the Rev. The Rev is going to advance here. He's going to the finals. But the, the bigger story, unfortunately, may be the injury of loss prevention. Yeah, I mean, he's still down on that canvas. This may be a, this may be a hospital a situation. Hey. Thanks, brother. Yeah, hell of a fighter, man. Hell of a fighter. Oh my God. Things oh, happen, man. Here's the thing. If you get back up on yeah. your feet, if the council is willing, you get a rematch with me any day, man. You're my respect, brother. You're my respect. All right, I don't know if I got yours, but you got mine, all right? You're a class act, brother, right. and I appreciate it. Appreciate you, man. I respect you. Appreciate you, man. Thanks for the hard work, brother. Revron Hunt, a hard-fought matchup. LP came out here strong as ever, and it seems as though an injury put this matchup to an end yeah. early. Can I just get your thoughts on this entire matchup as it was? I mean, from the jump, I knew it was going to be a test. You know, you look at a guy like LP, he's a monster, you know, and that's just to say the least. Um, you never want to win a match like that, and, you know, you want it to be fair and square and everything. But at the end of the day, here at Fight Underground, there still needs to be a winner. You know, at the end of the day, I had to capitalize where it was. I told him, I, I checked on him. He's doing pretty well. He's still limping and everything like that. I said, listen, you earn the Rev's respect. So when he gets back up on his feet, it's a, if it's up to the council, he can get a rematch with me anytime because he earned that, man. He got my respect. Now, you did get another win here tonight. And what do you say to the people who think that you don't deserve to be the number one draft pick here in Fight Underground after that win? 
I say, you know, time will only tell. You know, a lot of people say I get lucky. A lot of people say, oh, you know, it's just by circumstance of the draw, I got some control. I don't have control of who I'm in a ring with. All I know is that whoever they put in front of me, I try to get the job done by any means necessary. Right now, the Rev is sitting 2-0. and I plan on keeping it going until I'm crowned number one here, Fight Underground. Well, Rev, thank you for your time. Congratulations on your win. Ron the Rev Hunt and distinguished fight council members RPW, Dean Bradford, and fight director Paul Atlas. Paul, do you have the first question? Rev, area one, AJ Alexander makes a mistake. You get lucky. You get the win. Tonight, LP comes in with a knee injury. You get lucky. You get the win. Is the Rev Ron Hunt really good or are you just lucky? You know, Paul, the Rev Ron Hunt doesn't believe in luck. The Rev Ron Hunt believes in adapting within the middle of that match. And when it comes down to it, it's nature of the beast. This is not ballet. This is fight underground. Injuries happen. This is the nature of the beast. So the fact that that happens is just a coincidence. But luck, far from luck. We can consider that a blessing. RPW, do you have a question? When LP went down with the injury, did that change your strategy with the way that you, you went about this match? I definitely say it definitely changes the strategy. When you look at a monster such as LP, I mean, I don't even think the camera and the people watching at home can physically see just how tall, how powerful, how strong this gentleman is. That's only one thing you can experience live at a show. Unfortunately, we can't do that right now. Or if you're in the ring with that competitor. At that particular time, my whole mindset is how can I get this man to my level? How can I play it in my round of the game? And then as we know, if you can put the match in your, in your particular round of the game, then not so you can capitalize on that. When it comes to that leg injury, as was stated earlier, it was unfortunate. However, that always goes back into the mindset. I think that also comes with a little bit of veteranship of knowing how to adapt, how to adjust. When you see it, you might have not thought about it, but you have to capitalize by any means necessary. Nothing was dirty, simple capitalization in the heat of the moment. Council Member Radford. So Rev, with AJ, you took an opportunity over a mistake. So with LP, it was an accident that took his momentum down on you. Are you actually a number one draft pick? Are you the man to run through Fight Underground? Or are you just piggybacking off of everybody else's mistakes? This is a question that fans at home, they're asking. This is a question that everyone has been tuning into the Fight Underground Facebook page for those council meetings. Even council members, are, council members argue about. At the end of the day, the proof is in the pudding. How the regulations go, how the rules go, the votes are casted. Voting is important. Voting is crucial. Get out and vote. Anyway, when it comes down to it, down to it, the vote is in that the Rev is where he stands. Now, like I said before, the beauty of this beast is it can be lost at any given time. However, right now, I don't plan on losing that, Dean. I don't plan on losing that at all. It's not luck. I plan on staying on top. I plan on being dominant. You say if I could run through it, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. I plan on running through everybody and anybody. Rev, any final thoughts? Getting down to it. Everyone wants to talk about who's the top dog. Who is the top in the alpha male division? Now we get down to the finals. It doesn't matter who it is. It doesn't matter where they come from, how far they fly in, how far they drive in. When you get into that ring, it's one-on-one. -on -one. There's no hiding. Fist up, throw down. That's the mindset.